shot that they had. So welcome to another episode of Ben's Boat Show. I'm Ben, and today is the day that we are going to gut the deer that we shot from the last episode. I'm gonna kind of just show you some pointers that I use for gutting the deer, some of the tools that I use. <laughs> Always have, ready to go. And um, I personally just do it out in the woods. Some people drag it up home, I've done that too. Just all personal preference, but Let's get right to it. First thing you want to do, you want to get in a dry, flat surface, and that's what we got right here. Nothing crazy, just pick a spot and, and do it. It was a good shot, um, which is telling me that we got the meat, the back straps up top here that didn't get ruined. It looks like I might have, oh, well, maybe not. Looks like it just missed the shoulder. That was a pretty darn good shot. This is why you sight your gun in and it's so stinking important. That's, I mean, exactly where I lined it up. It's exactly where the bullet went. That's how it's supposed to happen. All the meat looks good. Again, you can see it's behind the shoulder. So I got my good shoulder roast all set to go. First thing that we want to do, which is pretty important, is after you shoot your deer, you find your entrance and exit, which we did earlier, came out through the front. Uh, but you want to just inspect the deer to make sure that it has not been shot before, especially with a bow and arrow. Because if that's the case, you see another wound in there that looks kind of like it could have been from a broadhead. Dude, you don't know. Maybe that broadhead is stuck in there and that's why the deer is still living. So you got to inspect the deer. I did that already. There's no other holes in it. So I'm all right. Go ahead and sticking my fingers up in the deer and, and getting everything gutted out without having to worry about a stinking broadhead inside the deer. Ouch. Talk about stitches, potential infection, <laughs> real quick, not good. Let's get her done. First thing I do is um, slit the underside of it so it exposes all the innards. And uh, normally, there's a, some knives have a gut hook on it. Um, Outdoor Edge also has what they call a, a zipper tool that just slices it right open. I just use my hands and my fingers. I'll show you a little bit more once I get into that, okay? Here's the breastplate. You just go down to the end of it and you'll feel it. I mean, it's, it's solid until you get down in there, okay? Now, you cannot puncture and just stab it in there because you got the stomach and the intestines in there and you do not want to erupt those at all because obviously all your good meat and stuff is on the inside and you don't want to contaminate it at all so uh you just got to be very very careful just kind of cram it in there until it you'll feel it go through and it's it might be good to get my other knife my good one is on its way from my buddy todd he literally just told me it shipped yesterday this is a cheap cheap one from Tractor Supply. Uh, this is a good one. This is a buck knife. I love buck knives. Great company. Uh, good product. Oh, hey. See what happens when you have a sharp knife? So there's almost like two layers. They almost have like a skin layer and then a membrane. So we kind of get through the skin layer and then and then the membrane. Once you can kind of grab in there, then you know that it's, you're all the way through. You gotta be very, very careful. I just slide my knife alongside my finger, pull up on it, and just kind of work it together. Again, a sharp knife is very, very important. I'm hardly putting pressure on, I'm just letting the knife and my finger guide it. So we had like the skin layer that we had to penetrate through. Then we have this, like just the inner membrane. Um, and then here's this whole stomach. The other nice thing about having a, a good shot and not a gut shot is 
you know, you get a gut shot, man, you just put a hole through this crap. And literally that's what ends up getting inside once you start doing this and it stinks. So we just kind of go down until we get down to his testicles. Do not cut through them because again, uh, you'll have urine go in there and that's really, really not good. Okay, once I get down there, as far as, uh, just about as far as I want to go, you can do one of two things. You can keep going and just work your way down or we could go back up. Because the idea is, is we got to pull all this stuff out and then I'm going to work on the rear part of it. You got to try to reach up as far as you can. So if we can expose some more of this chest cavity so we can get our hand up in there, that's always, always best. Again, we're trying not to disrupt anything by rupturing it. So it's a little bit of cartilage, a little bit of bone. Um, you gotta be careful because you got some sharp bones in here too when you're cutting through this at, uh, ooh, like that one right there. Look at that. You see that? Is your camera good enough to zoom in? Mm -hmm. That would hurt. Again, the idea is to get your hand all the way up, somewhere up in here where you can feel the esophagus and you literally just got to kind of cut right through the esophagus. That's, that's the idea. There's another membrane in front of the neck area, just, just behind, right about here on the breastplate. And you just got to cut through it. It's just, just a little membrane part. And what I'm doing is, is this is how I'm doing it. Got my fingers right on the side. I know where my light knife is at all times. Just kind of cut that membrane out. It'll be real easy to cut through. A lot of blood up in here. Okay. Here's the heart. Ooh, there's the heart. Cutting through it. It's all good in the hood. So, as you can tell, doing this process, a little bit of blood on you. Some people, uh, some people get irritated from the blood. Um, maybe just a dandruff with the deer that's on it. And my dad's one of them. So, as much as my dad wants to help me and stuff, he can't help me with this part because he just his eyes get all red and nasty and itchy and. I can feel, I, my knife is right about here. So we're up into the neck area. I'm just cutting on the side of the esophagus now. Again, it's just kind of membrane stuff that holds it all together. And you just gotta get in there and kind of cut across it, baby. Okay. So the esophagus is just a, you know, a little circle uh, tube. If you look at uh, if you look at a grunt call, literally the end of it is just a little rubber tube with some ribs on the inside of it. It's ribbed on the inside, and that's exactly what they're trying to mimic is if esophagus in there. So that's all you're just trying to feel. Bigger deer are going to have a little bit bigger ones. This one's like probably about this size. I can feel it in there. But again, you just got membrane. You got to get through those walls. Just take your knife cut through it you're not going to ruin anything up in there so just get up in there and kind of slice away at it go up a little more and then just angle your knife you'll feel you might be able to take the knife out stick your hand up in there and like oh okay i kind of feel nice little rounded piece and get your knife back up in there and literally just maybe go like this and just cut it you'll see the visual once we get this pulled out here now so literally, all we gotta do is just pull this stuff right out. And um, as you can see, there's things on the sidewall that are just holding it all in there. So it's honestly, just go in there and start ripping and you'll hear stuff going It's all okay. You wanna have the stomach intact, you don't wanna rip that. 
that is the biggest thing in the intestine, which are both down a little ways. So I am married, but when I go hunting, I don't wear my wedding ring for this purpose. If you do, put it in a zippered pocket that you have. I'm just grabbing the trachea, literally just pulling it. Pulling it out. Okay. You can see all this stuff on the side right here. This is what's holding this stuff in right now. Just taking my buck knife. And I got some on the other side too. real thin doesn't take much to cut again let the let your sharp knife do the cutting because the last thing too is that you want to get a deep cut while you're out in the middle of the woods you can see this stuff down here can you get in on that I don't know if you can see this stuff here it's just this is the thing that's holding the stuff in just pull it then you can see right down here. What is that, my friends? Huh? Here's the fillet. Look at those back straps, baby. All right. Now we just take this, flop it off to the side. You can see it. it literally is just pulling out. Okay. Everybody, oh, uh, wants to look at the shot that they had. Well, there's a first time for everything, people. Just get it out of the way. <laughs> Just get it out, buddy. We're done hunting. You don't have to be quiet anymore. Oh, my. I thought you were tripping. Okay. Back over here. All right. Here's the esophagus I was telling you about, right here, okay? This is what we had to go up and cut through. And then I kind of just stuck my finger in there and pulled it. Oh, shoot. Everybody wants to know their shot placement in the vitals. Here's his heart. We just, I mean, we destroyed some of his heart big time. Great shot, that's why he only went 50, 60 yards from the stand or so. Oh, it looks like he had some good healthy stuff in there. I wonder what that is. That's part of a acorn. We've got the, the stomach and stuff out here, but as you can tell, we got some things still connected all up in here. I try and get all the membrane around uh, these, okay? We got a little bit of the uh, intestine here. We got the urine sac which we gotta be very careful of. I can tell there's urine in it, so we gotta not cut that. And then we also have the tube that goes down to the penis that we have to make sure we don't cut, okay? I just take my time. I ain't in no hurry for once in my life. You gotta be careful because you do have some meat right here. You can see in, in here, and you gotta be careful cutting through here because again, this is, this is meat right here. So just let your knife do the cutting. Take your time. This will kind of just split open like you're butterflying a steak. There she goes, huh? All right, we got her all opened up. I see what's going on here. Now we need to go in and pull this stuff out. 
everybody's got their own way, but there's a tool called the butt out. Hey Steve, you want to help me with that? Oh, good. Okay. What the butt out does is it goes in, you twist it, you pull some of it out, you use another zip tie, zip tie the one end off so nothing can fall out because at that point you cut it and then just pull it out this way. I guess if you're gonna be a hunter, you do hunter type things. Yes siree. Here's the butt out. Okay, so I tap it and it'll fall out. Pretty much. Yep, almost there, buddy. Come on. Okay, now listen. Yeah. You kind of only have one chance at this, so don't screw it up. Hold the tail. Uh-huh. You stick that right up in there. Uh-huh. Then you turn it and then slowly pull it out. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, easy, easy. Yep, easy, easy, because we can... Oh, you screwed it up. I was pulling it out easy. Okay, we go to plan B. So now, literally what you got to do is go up around the anus and cut all the way around the intestine too. You know, the guy was hoping for a nice, easy procedure. You just kind of... Go up in there. Don't stick your finger in the other end unless you just want to feel kind of what the idea is. You'll just feel the bone and you just follow that around. You don't want to cut it in half because that's the tube. You kind of just pull gently and get in here nice and easy and you'll kind of feel it. You pull some more out, rip it off. If it's not coming right out, then you probably didn't quite get all the membrane yet. So once you get it, you'll see it'll just come out and through. We just wanted to show you inside the chest cavity and the neck. Again, there was some membrane around here I just had to cut out in order to get up to the, get up to the esophagus here and cut that. So that's it, deer is gutted. Make sure you got all your tools. I had two knives and one butt out. I got two knives and one butt out, put them safe and securely back into their holsters. Uh, some people like the heart and other things. Um, so uh, I got a buddy that does want the heart. Throw it up over into the woods a little more. Be free. It was a fun hunt. Shoot, it was a beautiful morning. And another, another way with being able to harvest this deer, just to show God's creation and how awesome it is and the plans that he has. We were just about ready to get out of the stand too and lo and behold, the buck came by. So thank you Lord for allowing us to have this meat and putting it in the freezer to feed our family. Can I get an amen? We want to thank Johnson's Country Store, having a good selection of boots and warm socks and everything you need for hunting. And a special thanks to Jay for letting us hunt in his backyard again. This is Ben from Ben's Bow Show. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, tweet us on Twitter, send us some cool pictures of your deer on Instagram. One question, are you ready to do some big game hunting?